Merciful girl, when will this maiden, after Mohan, piteously petitioned her in so many unbearable ways, knowing her to be very dear to you, anxiously fall at Lalita's feet to bleed for him, trying to thuse your peak at him. Wow. Wow. Again. Oh, Sadaye, when will this maiden, my God, after Mohan, previously petitioned her in so many unbearable ways, knowing her to be very dear to you, my God, anxiously fall at Lalita's feet to bled for him. My God. Trying to soothe. Soothe. To soothe. Who? Mm -hmm. Medicate. Cool down. Cool down, medicate. Go home. You peek at him. Brother Rani's, Brother Rani's peek at Mohan. And God no. So that is yeah, you can say. My God. Being in something like a very emotional explosion. The succession My God. of Sri Raghunath's relish, of Sri Ratha's amazing form, qualities, and playtimes continuous without interruption. Man is also a kind of rasa. Man is also a kind of rasa. Of rasa, yes. A lot of flavor in it. Hmm? There's a lot of flavor in it, in that, in that mood. In this verse, Sri Raghunath relishes Sri Radha's man ras. Man wow. is a kind of loving anger towards the beloved and the relish of this man is profuse and enamorous. Sometimes Radha may have a reason to be angry with Mohan because he cheated her with another girl. My God. For instance, and sometimes there may be no reason. No reason. Yeah. Now that is explained in the next line why. Sri Radhika may be angry with Mohan just to increase his eagerness for her. Man then serves as an obstacle, a kind of dam in a strong river stream of love which is naturally crooked. First, increasing the volume of water before the dam and then dividing the stream into a hundred different branches that move in a crooked way and ultimately renovate, sweeten and reinvigorate the old stream of love. Again. Beautiful. At night. Yes. So the dam is doing something which renews, which rejuvenates the water again. 
and that goes in different branches, like this said. That means new different feelings, every branch is like a feeling that arises, that gives us the anurag. The interaction between both and ever fresh, fresh and always new. Wow. This is the river stream of love. Wow. And one important what I feel here is that this is unbroken. The stream is unbroken. It always goes on and on and continues. Whatever happens at the side of the river, the stream is flowing and going on. So that means this love stream is going on and there might be some obstacles at the side, but the stream doesn't bother. bother. It's unbreakable. It's flowing. It's dynamic. It's not like a pond, which is stagnant. It's a river and a love river. In the kingdom of love, man is a wonderful reviving elixir, an amazing miracle. For this renovation, the Yukalak shore may sometimes have to go through intolerable tensions that cause new emotions to sprout on the old vines of their hearts and that make an initiated dirty face worthy to become before the mirror again. The hero will fall at the feet of the heroine, being greedy to taste more of her sweet love and backing Manini to give up her peak towards him. The image here. My God. Very good. This is exactly for this Manini Rada. And we also can deliver this. Lalita is the general of all of Radhika's girlfriends and her mood is Vam Rakara, harsh and unsubmissive. She directs Swamini's peak at Mohan just to increase his loving eagerness. Swamini is controlled by Lalita Chi's love. She herself may not always be angry with Mohan. No. But still she cannot meet him. Oh. If Lalita does not allow it. Yeah. Therefore, the word asayai, intolerable, in the text, does not refer only to Mohan, but also to Swamini as well as her maidservants. She can also not tolerate the separation from her Priya town. Oh. In case our hero is guilty, one night Swamini anxiously waits for Mohan in the trysting Kuncha, but Krishna falls to show up until daybreak. Huh? I will. In case our hero is guilty, one night Swamini anxiously waits for Mohan in the Tristi Kuncha, but Mohan fails to show up until daybreak. Yeah. Daybreak, the other day in the morning. Daybreak. When the night is gone, then the day starts. That's Lalita instructs Swamini then to be angry with Mohan. So Swamini tells Mohan, Oh Mohan, your eyes are red from staying up the whole night. This red color clearly shows your attachment to another woman. My God. Hari Hari, go Mohan, go Madhava. Don't speak any false words to me. 
O oh, lotus eyed one, go to that woman who can soothe your sorrow. Or sometimes she sarcastically tells Mohan, Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Stay where you are. Take a mirror and look at your own moonlight face, which is smeared with eyeliner. That black color looks very beautiful on your black face. When I get up in the morning, seeing your face, I know that I will have a great day. I see hand spots. Huh? Hand spots. What is that? Spots. Pan. Pan spots. What? Spots is like... Spot is spot... Um, yeah. Well, on your face, showing signs of the lips that kissed you. My God. Your eyes are half closed of drowsiness because you were up the whole night with this girl. Turn around and look at me. Let me look straight in your eyes. Why do I see such glossy curly hairs on your chest? You have spots of reddish powder over your whole body. If I would appear before my lover like this, I would die of shame. My God. The blue lotus has become brown. Your body has become dirty. Dirty. Which Rasavati Amorous girl who likes to drink juice has attained the ocean of nectar and squeezed all the juice out of it. Which girl has exhausted my Rasika lover? Sundari, beautiful Radhika said, your crooked eyes have become even more crooked. And Chandida says, A thief cannot give up his nature. It's too bad. A thief remains a thief. Shiradika relishes this rasa of man very much. Her lover sits at her feet and prays to her as follows. You form qualities and useful beauty are unrivaled in this world. Even in my dream, I'm repeating your names. Listen, Ovinodini, playful, delightful girl, Dhani, fortunate girl, O Razamai, delicious Radha. I know that once you will give up this mood, when you even touch me with the tips of your fingers, I can't find the end to the ocean of my bliss. Please give me a wink with your eyes. How many efforts Mamsi Vadan, flute playing Mohan, does not make to soothe his lady's pig, Manini? cannot tolerate hearing even the syllable ka for that reminds her of Krishna and she blocks her ears with both her hands she considers this sound to be like a thunderbolt striking her so she calls out Janini, Janini to the sage with the same name who can resist thunderbolts. She discards her excellent blue sari, her blue bangles, and her sapphire necklace. My God. With a blade of grass, she removes the bluish musk pictures on her hand palms and breasts. And palm. And breasts. And palm. 
and part may be inside of the hand. Yes. Her blue mask tilak, the mask spot on her chin that is more beautiful than a baby black bee and your eyeliner, replacing them with ointments of sandalwood pulp. Seeing a blue rain cloud, Manini puts up an umbrella. She will not even speak to her girlfriend Shyama anymore because she had the same name as Krishna. When she sees a tamil tree, she wants to grind it into it to powder and she leaves all peacock feathers far behind. Her eyes are filled with tears when she sees black bees buzzing and buzzing around the foot of a champaka tree. The bees remind her of Mohan because of their blackish bluish color and the champaka tree looks like another golden complexion gopi and seeing her own blackish hair she puts the mirror away. When Mohan is unable to woo Swamini, despite his ardent prayers, he asks Tulasi, who is just like Swamini's shadow, to come outside of the Kuncha. Mohan knows that Tulasi is very dear to Swamini and that Swamini cannot refuse her requests. So he asks her, Oh, Rati Manchari, please let your mistress be pleased with me once more. I swear you, today I did not anything wrong. Why is she then angry with me? What shall I do? Which affectionate girl will help me to meet my heart's beloved again? Oh, what will become of me? It is so intolerable. I have even forgotten the brother of Yamuna. How fortunate Radhika's maidservants are. Even the Supreme Personality of Godhead, who is sought for by the Vedas, prays to them with folded hands. Tulasi cannot tolerate seeing Mohan's pitiful condition and she calls, consoles him by saying, Just wait here for a moment. I'm going to see what I can do. When Tulasi comes back into the Kuncha, <coughs> she sees that Swamani has become a girl who regrets her quarrel with her lover. And eager to meet her, Rananath once more. Tulasi says, Hey, Shyamaju, your lover is so pitiful at praying to me for the treasure of your affection. Why are you angry with him? Now Swamani says, Lalita told me to be like this. One of Sri Radhika's names is Lalita Viti Manini. She who is angry with Mohan out of fear of Lalita, although she herself wants to make up with Mohan again. Sri Raghunath calls Swamini Sadaya in this verse. And Sri Bhangavihari Vidyalankara writes, She's so merciful that she slackens her mind after seeing and hearing about Mohan's aggrieved state. Hence, she is named Sadaya here. Seeing the situation, Tulasi understands that without Lalita's permission, the Yuga Kishore will not be able to meet, although they are so eagerly desiring each other. Tulasi rounds off the Kuncha, where Lalita she dwells. Lalita asks Tulasi, Tulasi, why have you come here? Tulasi suddenly falls 
and Lalita Sweden says, Are you just sitting here after ordering Swamini to be angry with Mohan? Lalita, why? What happened? You will see. We are so eager to meet each other. I can't tolerate the sight anymore. Order the man Panga, the, the breach of peak. Swamini is maintaining her peak only because she respects your order. So Lalita, she orders the bridge of peak. Tulasi returns to Swamini's kunch and says, Lalita sanctioned the bridge of your peak. Swamini blooms up with bliss. This is how Tulasi accomplishes the meeting of Priya, Priyatam, Radha Mohan. Blessed is this maid servant. Blessed is her service. Suddenly the vision stops and she Raghunath prays to Swamini's local street for the fortune of her devotional service. Tumaradu Jayama Manjane Kuritika Kataravinaya Sahakare Sativi Tumara Koto Tikrane Manisata Gorivin Pratana Amare Kana humbly and anxiously prays to me in so many ways to soothe your invincible jealous anger, considering his life to be cursed a hundred times. O Tulasi Manchari, he says, I swear you, today I didn't do anything wrong. Tulsi Swamani maintains a very tough peak towards me. Alas, alas, which girl could be so kind to arrange for my meeting with her? When these words enter my ears, I become anxious at heart and arrange for your peak to be bruised. Lalitara pade bodhi, kohive vinoy kodi. Janaibo Krishna Vedana Sadayaho Yeyave Mura Mukha Panichave Harasita Hobe Mura Maham I would fall at Lalita's feet and humbly tell her of Mohan's heartache when Lalita becomes merciful and looks me in the face my mind will be very very happy. O Sadaye, merciful girl, when will this maiden, after Mohan, bittersweet petitioned her in so many unbearable ways, knowing her to be very dear to you, anxiously fall at Lalita's feet to bled for him trying to soothe your pig at him. Radha. Radha. Here ends the verse 56. Radha, Radha, Radha.